In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect to custom servers on Minecraft Bedrock Edition on Xbox. Now, I personally am on an Xbox Series S. However, this should work on a Series X, and I believe it should also work on the Xbox One, although the UI may just be slightly different, but the method itself should actually work completely fine. So as you can see here, I'm on an Xbox Series S. Right now, I'm actually on the Pinecraft server, which is a custom server I make videos on. So one thing to point out is that you do need a subscription to Xbox Game Pass. It just is the base version, but for whatever reason, for any online play on Xbox on Minecraft, you need Xbox Game Pass. It's only the base version, so it's £7 a month. I'm not sure what it is in dollars. But yeah, annoyingly, you do need that. There's no way around that, as far as I'm aware. It just is what it is. So after you've bought Game Pass, you then need to actually exit out of Minecraft and head up here to Settings. Then click on Network Settings in the General tab, go down here to Advanced Settings, and then select DNS Settings. Then we need to select the Manual option, and we're going to need to type in some numbers here. So I'll put this exact number in the description, and... If this one isn't working for you, I'll actually leave a link where you can get some other ones because there are some alternative DNS IPs that you can use as well. But anyway, so that's the primary DNS box. We then are going to press OK, and this is going to take us to the secondary DNS box where we can just go ahead and put in any DNS. I'm just going to use Google's DNS, which is 888. So there we go. Let's hit enter. And now we should just be able to press the B button to go back. And there we go, it does a quick net network test, but we can see that we're all connected to the internet. So if we now go back into advanced settings, you can see there that the DNS that we just typed in is right there. Make sure that it is exactly those numbers, otherwise it may not work properly. In fact, it probably won't work properly. Now, I've also noticed it's kind of helpful to restart the Xbox as well, because sometimes it's just a bit weird. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart my Xbox. One second, please. That was loud. So after you've restarted your Xbox, you may also need to restart Minecraft as well, which you can do by pressing this quit button, but I've already done that. So you're just going to go ahead and load back into Minecraft and then head over to the service tab, which is where I am right now. Now you can see here there is no add server button. That's because unfortunately Microsoft don't officially support it. So there isn't an official add server button. However, if you join one of the featured servers, you'll get a fancy custom server list. So for me, Mineville generally works, whereas sometimes the other servers don't work. So I'm going to go ahead and join Mineville. And after it finishes loading, you should see this server list UI. So this is actually very, very intuitive, but you can see here it has connect to server, which if you press just lets you type in the custom server address and port along with an name if you want to add it to your server list which you could do with this toggle or you can go ahead and manage the server list for the servers you already have such as adding a new server editing a server or removing a server and then you also have your actual servers here along with the featured servers if you just wanted to join a featured server and to show you this works i'm going to go ahead and join the pinecraft server and we should see that i join in there like i was in the intro and there we go. As you can see, I'm right here in Pinecraft like I was in that intro, which is very nice. Let's see if I can fly out of this hole. If you're interested in how this all works, I'll leave a pinned comment down below with an FAQ along with a link to a GitHub page that sort of explains how all of this works because it's very fancy. And if you need any help getting this to work for you, then feel free to join my Discord, which is linked in the description and ask in the technical help channels. But other than that, that's it from me. So a huge thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you found this useful. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.